Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a picture. And it's it's called Meet the Noodles. <laughs> Okay, so, hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am, I'm gonna draw a picture and we aren't supposed to use our names yet because some of us have names and some of us don't and some of us wanna change our names and some of us don't. And so we're gonna do a Meet the Alters video where the, the noodles get to tell you about themselves without tell you, tell, telling you their names. And, and I'm gonna draw it for you. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's go. Okay, this is what we have. We have the gray bowl, and the gray bowl represents Crystal City. Crystal, the person, Crystal, the body, Crystal, the mind, Crystal, the person, the person that everybody meets. Crystal is a gray bowl, but inside of her gray bowl is a bunch of noodles. And she used to think that her brain was like a bunch of spaghetti noodles that were all one color, all the same, and she was just trying to follow where the thought began, where the thought stopped, and, you know, disregard the thoughts that were no good, and disregard that, just focus on only the yellow beautiful noodles. But then she learned that the yellow noodles were only the happy noodles, and there's other noodles in there that need to be dealt with, and there's other noodles in there that, that need love, and there's other noodles in there that need that need um, to speak, and if she continues to ignore them, she's going to have nothing but other color noodles and all the yellow noodles will be gone and that's exactly what her life was like it was there was no joy left there was no happiness left it was all depressing and anger and everything so now we're going to draw the noodles and here are the noodles that we know of and hopefully there's no more this is what we got we got there's a white noodle and the white noodle represents her daddy okay her daddy if it wasn't for her daddy she would not um want to make sure that she was a good girl at all times so if we take this noodle here we're just going to call it gold okay we're not going to we're not going to say names but her daddy is in her mind all the time all the time ever since he died and so this isn't so much of um a, an altar or a noodle that she becomes it's someone that she looks up to in her mind that is always talking to her and telling her um guiding her like like an angel right and then you got um, this gold one. This gold one always wants to be good. This gold one's five years old, and this good gold one is 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 always doing its very best. And if it wasn't for that gold one, you wouldn't see the yellow one. So you see how they're all connected. They're all connected. Okay. So here's the yellow noodle, and this is what everybody sees on top of the noodles. Okay. If all the noodles, if all the noodles are on top of the bowl in a big old pile, you can imagine it, right? And we take each noodle one by one and separate it out. You're gonna see these noodles at the top. If these noodles were not at the top, you wouldn't see a happy a happy crystal. So when you look underneath the happy ones, when you look underneath the gold ones and the white ones and the yellow ones, then that's when it starts to get a little tricky. All right. The next one you're going to see is kind of like a, a, a workaholic noodle. That's orange. Okay. And orange is very organized and very structured and very um, able to get things done. And if, if, uh, if you don't see her around, um, then usually Crystal's very distracted very distracted, um, kind of zoned out and not really paying attention to anything, kind of absolutely not interested in being organized whatsoever. So it's kind of like the opposite, right? Of that one. And then another one you might see just kind of like on the surface is one that's kind of weird and kind of out there. And maybe she don't fit in and maybe people don't understand her and maybe she's um, not good enough or not doing it right or whatever. Okay, sorry. I want to zoom this in just a little bit. Okay, and, and if that one is, um, that, that one's 10, 10 years old. So I'm going to only mention the littles when, when I have a little. So that one's five years old and that one's 10 years old. And so when she's not feeling good enough, um, this one kind of comes out and protects, okay? And so this one is a protector and it's kind of like a controlling one, angry, bossy, um, demanding. She's just kind of feisty. She's red, okay? She's red. This is maroon, this is purple, orange, and red. Okay, um, another one you might see, which... Um, which a lot of people don't know and don't understand is this one. This one is green. Green is kind of um, kind of selfish and kind of um, manipulative and has and has kind of a me 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 attitude and it lives in a fantasy world most of the time. And when she's when she's not being like that, then she's she's in this codependent 
codependent noodle phase. And this codependent one is um, seven years old and she feels like she has to fix everything and she's very people pleasing and everything, okay? And then we've got uh, another one that's kind of afraid to be abandoned. She's 11 and she is always doing her best to show love and cuddle and all that stuff. And she's just, she's just soft and sweet and everything. That's like a, that's like a, a peach color, right? And then we've got this one here is pinky. She's fun and she's out there and she's a strong personality and she's silly and goofy, but sometimes she will only show love because she's um, trying to protect what's going on under here. So if any of these guys underneath are feeling bad, she'll show love just so that these guys don't feel bad. And then so underneath them is Little Crystal. That's the only one I'm gonna give you a name on. A little Crystal is kind of like this light green color, maybe a minty green color, right? And she's seven years old. Okay, so I have two seven years old. And they're like they're like um they're like twins. And then there's a teenager and she's her name her name I'm not gonna tell you her name, but she's like a magenta or hot pink. What is this color? Like a bright pink or a, a fuchsia. Kind of looks red in the camera, doesn't it? Okay, so then after that we have way in the bottom of the bowl is this really long and skinny, sneaky little black noodle. <laughs> and it likes to do, it likes to always show up every once in a while and it's really tricky sometimes. And when it shows up, it makes this noodle come out and that noodle doesn't come out too often. This is, this is blue. Okay, so we've got all of these, right? But the one that I didn't mention was this three-year-old. This three-year-old is kind of like the glue that holds all of these together. She's, um, she's like a future fortune teller, right? She's, she can see the future. And so because she can see the future, or at least she thinks she can, she is telling all of these noodles what to do and what to think and what to react. And so we are just showing you what the, what the noodles are that are our, 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 our brain is like our home, our home in the bowl of the noodles, the rainbow noodles. And that is it. That's all I wanted to show you. So thank you for watching. And if you have any more questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello. So I'm going to see if I can do this faster because I just made one and I didn't like it very much. So we're going to start off with this noodle. This noodle is 11 years old and she has abandonment issues. But the positive things that she brings to a to a to a bowl of noodles is that she's very cuddly and loving and she's she's just very sweet and, and, and caring and wants everybody to be happy right and and feel loved no but she doesn't want anybody to feel like they're not loved and then the next one is pinky i'm not going to give you the names for all of them so i didn't give you her name because she's not sure she likes her name um and pinky is pretty much pinky and we're not changing pinky pinky likes her name and then the next one after that is um, oh, Pinky's 16 years old, and she's just silly and fun and everything. I guess her negative quality is that she gives love to protect in exchange for protection and, 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 and instead of out, of out of genuineness like this one. Okay, this one here is 13 years old, and she's kind of like a, a pink color also, but she's kind of like a darker pink. Okay, and then um, she, her, her qualities is that she's tough and she's she's got, you know, she won't let people walk all over her, and she's awesome. You know, she's but her negative qualities is that she she will rebel and she'll talk back. Okay, the next one after that, if I can get this off of here, is a 10 year old. 10 year old is, um, she's she's been called weirdo and not good enough and what's wrong with you and she's got all that trauma going on. And she, um, she has a hard time sometimes, but her good qualities is that she is a protector and she will try to um, take pride in the system and say, and you know, just be proud of her, her weird qualities and try to talk better to herself and stuff and try to talk better to others so that they don't feel like she does. And then we've got red. Red is a protector as well as a prosecutor, a prosecutor. <laughs> red is a persecutor as well as a protector. And she's just controlling and bossy and mean, but she gets the job done. A lot of times she's, she's, if it wasn't for her, you know, she's like mama bear. She ain't going to let anybody walk all over her, you know? And then, um, We've got this orange one, and I'll give you her name. Her name's not gonna change. Her name is Genius, okay? 
Genius is our organized one and she's she's sufficient and she's everything, but she doesn't have a lot of emotion. That can be a good thing and a bad thing. She doesn't really tap into what other people are going through or what the system is going through. She's just the worker bee that gets things done. And then we've got this gold color. She's five years old. I didn't tell you the ages of the other ones because they're not littles. They're, they're adults, right? This gold one is five years old and she is a good girl and she listens well and she doesn't, um, she just wants to be a good girl. Okay. And, and, and I think that can, that, that that's not so much of a, there's not such of a bad quality to that. It's just, um, she, she doesn't really do a lot of thinking of her own, you know, by herself. She, she's just, she does what, what she's told. She's an obey, she's an obeyer noodle. Okay. And then this one is yellow. You guys have met yellow and yellow is bubbly and happy and always looking for the positive. And she's also an adult. And then we've got this mint color. Her, her trouble is that she's um, always feeling betrayed and she thinks that it's not, you know, people will lie to her and then she feels like she can't tell her truth either. So she keeps her truth really close and she just waits patiently for people to, um, you know, let her, let her speak. And she's, she's really tired of people ignoring her. So she's kind of getting her own spotlight right now with all this noodle stuff and she's really loving it. So she's the truth advocator right now. This one here is kind of a, a selfish noodle, but selfish can be good too. That means people won't walk all over us. And so it's kind of a protector, but also it can be damaging. And she also um, kind of lives in a fantasy world and she, she doesn't see things quite clearly um, sometimes. Um, this one here is uh, another seven-year-old and she thinks it's her job to fix everything and so she's very codependent and i think it's okay to be codependent to a point but when it starts to hurt the rest of the system then that's when we need to say no 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 it's okay to help people when they need help but you can't you can't you can't sacrifice yourself too much right and then we've got little boy blue i don't know if i've talked about him before or not but little boy blue is um he's he holds a lot of the trauma but he's really tough and he'll take more and he'll take more and he'll take more and he'll take more and, he'll take more. and he doesn't he's just really strong and so he protects the system by taking the brunt of all the all the pain and then this one here is mr purple mr purple is um kind of the avoider of the system he, he'll he'll protect us by helping us avoid things and distract us and be very um very good about not letting us know what's really going on so he's kind of the protector and then we have claire claire is our clairvoyant noodle she likes to she likes to see into the future and tell us all about everything that's going on all right and then this one here is the black noodle. The black noodle is sneaky and doesn't, you don't know when he's coming, but when he comes, he, it's like whiplash, you know, and it's hard to know what he's thinking and what he wants. And then there's also a white noodle, kind of like a, our guidance one. It tells us that we're, we're on the right path or we're not on the right path or that seems about right or no, it doesn't seem about right. So these two here, these two do not become crystal, but they definitely influence crystal. So they don't turn into crystal, but they definitely influence crystal. And crystal is the big giant bowl that all the noodles sit in. And crystal's personality is a rainbow. And by recognizing that I'm not, I'm not one noodle all the time, right? I am influenced by several noodles all the time and maybe only one noodles influencing like right now the way i'm drawing and the way i'm speaking i don't think it's influenced heavily by all the noodles i think it's just influenced by one probably one of the littles because it feels i feel very very protected right now i feel very detached from everything that's going on okay now if we were to do any more coloring you might say that in the bowl is all these noodles and they're all mixed up at all the times. And so rather than hiding or turning off certain parts of us, we are just going all of these noodles together create a very um, unique experience. And if we're hiding certain parts of ourselves and we only look for the yellow noodles, right? Then we can be looking for a very long time and upset with ourselves for not being who we think we need to be. So rather than, rather than say, oh, I need to be, I need to be this, 
person all the time. I have to I have to show everybody this yellow noodle all the time. Otherwise, they're going to hate me or they're going to laugh at me or they're going to leave me or we, we can't we can't do that to ourselves. We have to be loving and love all of our noodles just the way just the way we were made. And if there's a problem with one of our noodles, like I mentioned some problems with some of our noodles, you know, then we need to find out what those problems are and talk to them and say, hey, what's going on? And they might say, well, we didn't get the love we wanted or somebody hurt us really bad. Or maybe we want to, maybe we want to hide for a while. You know, I, I am, I am thinking the reason why they're all out now is because they're done hiding and they want to feel better now. They don't want to hurt anymore. So we are not going to be one noodle at a time and tell people that we're one noodle right now. We, we are the bowl. We are a team and we're going to keep acting like a team because if we don't, then we don't feel good. We do not feel our best when we are selfish or happy all the time or sad all the time or feeling abandoned all the time. Like we don't feel our best when we're doing just one noodle at a time. So I don't, we don't want to do that anymore. We want to be our best self and our best self is allowing each noodle to express themselves when they want to express themselves. Okay. So if this made any sense to you, please click the like button. If you understand what we are feeling and thinking and you have something you think would be helpful to add to our noodle analogy, let us know. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.